Hey guys, so with the Path of Exile 1 3.27 Keepers of the Flame League coming out in about a day or two, I know there's a lot of people who are from Path of Exile 2 who have never played Path of Exile 1 before who are interested in at least dipping their toes into the game and trying it out because everybody says that it's an amazing game. And it really is. In my opinion, Path of Exile 1 still is the better ARPG out of the two. And anybody who is interested in trying it should definitely give it a shot. But I know there's a lot of information and a lot of things that you need to overcome to be able to really get started playing. Like I know from an outsider's perspective, looking in, you might like be like, oh my gosh, this is way too overwhelming. And I totally understand that. And today I want to give you all a tool that will help a lot with that feeling of being overwhelmed with at least being able to help you with the campaign and also give you some nice quality of life features that will help you progress through the game easily. And this tool is one that I've talked about before, which is called Exile HUD. Now, I talked about this tool in the perspective of the Path of Exile 2 Exile HUD, but they recently added a function for Path of Exile 1, which will make life so much easier. So as you can see on the left hand side of the screen, I have this kind of overlay, which has a ton of checkboxes. Now, these checkboxes are basically telling you what you need to do to progress in the campaign and what you need to do next. It also gives you kind of the optimal ways to do it to make sure you're doing it as fast as possible to get to the end game as easily and as quickly as possible. It's really nice because it does track like what map you're in, where you are, what you've done and things like that. So it's really, really intuitive and really nice to help you through the campaign. Now, this isn't the only function, but I think this for a lot of people is going to make their lives a lot easier. For example, if you for me right now, this is my current quest, right? Prisoner's Gate, Kill Aberath, Road to West, uh, Western Forest. And it'll even tell you like, hey, the arena is on in the side area behind the ledge. And this was like, oh, stay on the main road to reach the exit. So it gives you some really, really good information and advice to help you out with progressing through the campaign. Now you can change things like the opacity of the overlay. You can change like the font size. If you think it's a little bit too small, the zoom level, things like that. It's really, really nice for just overall clearing the campaign. But this, to be honest, isn't the feature that I think is the coolest thing about this overlay. I think that the coolest thing about this overlay is the ability to insert a path of building into the overlay and integrate it with the game. So if you have a path of building code, you can go ahead and put that in here and import it. And then what that allow you to do is you can pull up the path of building tree in the game. So you don't have to have path of building open at all. So in Path of Exile 1, people are pretty dang good at making really detailed guides to walk you through where you need to be wherever you are in the game. Like this one goes act one, two, three, four, five, six. So it tells you what nodes you need to have while you're in the game. So you can easily pull this up while you're progressing through the game and just be like, okay, these are the nodes that I need to get. And you can like highlight over the nodes to see like what they're called and what they do as well. It's super awesome and makes the game really, really easy to navigate through, which I really appreciate. Now on top of this, of course, it also lets you see the gems that they've put in uh, POB, like what you need to do and what gems you need to have on top of also the gear menu, right? If your guide maker has put any suggestions for gear and things like that, it can be all found through here as well. And then you have the note section, which again, because a lot of these build guides are so well made, there are some very detailed notes in these uh, build guides. So it'll tell you everything that you need to do. And again, all of this is just, you can use it with the POB, but it's just so much nicer to have it all in the game so that you can easily just access it while you're playing and not have to like pull something up. And I know some of you guys are like, oh my gosh, take up so much of the screen. Well, you can, you know, resize it. And normally I just put this right here and then uh, we use this very, very easily, very, very smoothly and helps me progress through the game and just makes everything really nice. You can also keep track of how long you spent in the act as well. They have like a little timer here. And on top of this, of course, it has the usual features that we have always had before, right? You can go control Q on an item, see what that item can roll, all the ranges, all the stats, all the weightings for the different uh, stat. 
uh, rolls. It's really, really nice. It's just, again, a little bit of a combination of like the PoE 2D or PoE DB or PoE Wiki, but just put it into your game, right? So you can just access everything that you need in the game and you don't have to worry about anything else. I don't know. I just thought that this would be a very, very nice um, introduction for anybody who is looking to play Path of Exile 1, but might be feeling a little bit lost. This tool is gonna be helping you a ton in navigating everything and helping you make sure you don't have to worry about anything when you're trying to progress through the game. So yeah, there it is. Pretty short video, pretty quick video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully you guys will take use of Exile HUD. And um, yeah, hopefully you guys have fun with Path of Exile 1. As per usual, if you like these type of videos, the best way to support and let me know is by hitting the sub button. And also I stream every single night on twitch.tv slash p 6 year And I will be streaming the Path of Exile 1 League. And of course there are gonna be Twitch drops. So come hang out, come get your Twitch drops. And I'm happy to answer any questions you guys might have. So come with me on this journey. And I hope to see you guys there. Hey guys, peace.